In this video, we will learn about uh, automatic coercion and uh, explicit coercion. As we know that uh, R can contains only a single type of objects. For example, if I write here x is equal to c and 1, 2, 3 and uh, the other vector can be for example c, uh, a and So this is a character vector, right? So if we mix two different types of objects, then we will see how R will handle it. For example, if I uh, write here one character. So in this vector, we have uh, two different types of uh, objects. One is the integer and the other is the character. So if I don't write vector and uh, if I want to see the the class of X so it will be numeric right and uh, if I add here character then we will see how R will handle it so here, here you can see the class of uh, vector X is character r has uh, converted these uh, numeric values 1 2 3 into character because a cannot be converted into numeric but the numeric values can be converted into characters if i want to show how it looks like so here you can see these are the character values so if i remove it only numeric so here you can see the numeric and we can see these are the numeric numbers 1 2 3 so in the same way for example if i write here a logical like true this one so now we will see so here you can see it is showing us numeric because the true means a uh, true means 1 if i print the values for the x vector here you can see 1, 1, 2, 3 and instead of 2 it is uh, displaying 1. So 1, 2 and 3 cannot be converted into logical but the logical can convert into uh, numeric. So this is how automatic coercion occurs in R. So now we will see how R handles explicit coercion. So for this I will, for example, I have uh, this uh, numeric vector x and uh, if I want to see the class, the class is numeric. Now we will try to convert numeric into integers. So how we will do uh, this thing? So it will be um, x as dot integer and we will pass here x and here we can assign uh, the result into vector y this one y and y so now here you can see uh, this uh, numeric vector has been converted into integer vector And in the same way, if we want to convert uh, this numeric vector into character, then how we will perform this thing? We just need to use the keyword as dot um, character, and we will pass the vector x. So here you can see. The, it is converted into character and if, if we show the if we display the value y so you can see 1 2 and 3 these are the character values so if we uh, convert this numeric vector into logical then it is very simple again we have to uh, use here as dot logical and assign the vector x 
So here you can see the class of this vector is converted from the numeric to logical. And if we display the value y, so here you can see all values are true. Uh, because any value that is greater than 0 will be true. And if I write here a 0 and uh, after 1, I write here again 0. So there should be 2 false and 3 true. So let's try to execute. So here you can see the first value is 1, 1 is true, 0 is false. Then 2, 3, these are true and the 0 is false. So in this video you have seen that how we can perform automatic question and explicit question. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any questions, please write in the comment section. Thank you.